I have a serious question to ask, but I'm already aware that your bias won't allow you to be honest. So let's go. Round one. Why is this okay? I have dealt with like processing issues my entire life. Coming across literature and connecting with people who also deal with a lot of the same issues that I've been having, it made me start doing my own research and being like, well, wait a minute. When this happens to me, this also happens. And so there's a little bit of like ADHD, autism on this, like, and maybe I am stressed out because I'm frustrated because I can't process certain things or like, and I also think there's a other added layer of because I'm so intelligent to other people and I write these songs that they're, and I look a certain way, they're like, ain't no way that you are. But this isn't. I've been gifted my whole life. And I remember writing an essay when I was in seventh grade about not wanting to be gifted because it just felt like a burden. It just feels like my whole life people have been trying to convince me that I'm not a good person because of these attributes. And then to find out that these attributes are really just autism. Just based on the comments alone that you left, oh, you why is one self-diagnosis valid when another one is not? Is it because you like this person? Is it because this person is more palatable for you? Is it because she's not mouthy? Is it because she's not all of those things that you don't oh, like about Amanda Seals? Is that why it's okay for Money Long, but it's not okay for Amanda Seals? Let me know in the comments. But I know you probably don't have a really good valid explanation. You're just gonna say more about why you don't like her. She's a liar, she's this, she's that. Oh, shut up. You lose.